Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is now the month of November, and I figure what a better way to start off the month of November than with the book about St. Margaret Mary and the promises of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Uh, Jesus appeared to St. Margaret Mary several times and promoted the, the sacred, you know, the... The devotion to the her Sacred Heart. Oh, I was gonna say also the Divine Mercy, but that was Saint Faustina. That's another one that would be a good one to check out this month. Is Saint Faustina and the Way of Divine Mercy. But this one in particular is, you know, concerned with the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the mercy that He bestows upon mankind. And just the, the sorrow that he has on the state of the world because he, even he can say as much as possible, but if people back then, sorry, I'm going out of focus here, but if people back in his time when he was alive, were willing or wanting to put him to death, how much more so no nowadays? Especially since he knows each and every single one of us, our deepest intentions, our secrets, our greatest fears, everything like that, and everything that we would consider and when making a decision. He knows all of it. He knows how sincere we are. He knows what each of us needs to do to become a better person and what we each need to accomplish to fulfill God's will for us on earth, here before we get to heaven, as well as what we need to do to get to heaven as well. But you know, he can only speak so much, and he only appears, him and several other saints who have appeared in other times, but primarily, you know, just ha him as well, have only appeared to people who are willing to listen. And that's not all of us, obviously. We're not always, not only are we not willing to listen all the time, oh, we're sometimes even barely listening when we are saying we're listening. And I know, because I'm... I'm guilty of this myself. I don't exactly listen all the time, but I do try, and it is a work in progress. And you know, if I'm sure someone out there can do a better job than I can, but if you know, for those of you who think you can't, there's definitely hope. There's people out there who could definitely, who have definitely overcome this, and that also gives me hope. I wouldn't say Saint Margaret Mary herself had that issue, per se. That's why, like I said, Jesus appeared to her to promote the devotion to his sacred heart, because she was one of the few people willing to listen to him at that time. And, you know, it, it just because someone doesn't receive a vision doesn't mean they're not willing to listen. It's just, you know, not all of us are gifted with the with that pleasure of, ha of getting to see him before we get to heaven. Just you know, I it, it just there's certain points in our history where God's like, okay, you guys are getting a little bad here. You know, you, we need a little little reprimand or a little reminder of where we're going and what we need to do to better ourselves even though it is in the Bible and you know just a whole bunch of stuff and there was a video I was watching the other day which was talking about oh why isn't oh, or was it a miracle or was it something on Tumblr? It was one of the two or both maybe even but there was a conversation going on about oh you know, that's what it was. It was it was a post on Tumblr that why is it that we don't have any miracles anymore? There wasn't very many miracles to be 
begin with. And there are a lot of miracles still going on if you consider Fatima and the water at Lourdes. That's still a thing. That is very much a thing. Those waters at Lourdes are healing waters. God placed that there for us. The miracles are happening. It's just become so commonplace you don't hear so much about it anymore. At least over at Lourdes. That or we're just not interested. But the point is, at least that the point the Post was trying to make is, what was the point? Even if they had a miracle, which a lot of, you know, if they were pointing out, you know, the miracles that had occurred in the Bible, where Jesus, be, ra Jesus raised people from the dead, and there are still people who didn't believe he was the Son of God. You know, that kind of a thing. A miracle is great for those who are already willing to see. For those who are not willing to see, they're just going to be close to it all the time. So, you know, that's that's the other thing is like, oh, you know, the miracles might change someone's mind. No, not really. Because if you look at the Bible, like I mentioned, Jesus did very many miracles. Not everyone believed in he was the son of God. Even Jude, Judas, Iscariot, he was told when Jesus was for a while and he saw everything firsthand. He, he listened to everything. You know, he became very close to him. And he still. Of course, you know, it's like I realized what I did was wrong. Wrong. Instead of going to, to him and trusting in God's mercy, you know, you know what happened to him. He went and, you know, hung himself. So, you know, it, it's it's going to vary by person rather than by miracle. Because, like I said, miracles can happen. Miracles can happen every day. Small, little miracles. And that's where God tends to be the most. But not very many people pay attention. Everyone wants the big, spectacular miracle. But it's like, back in the older days, when they would, God was sending just as angels, people were afraid to see them. And they all begin with being not afraid. Because that glory is just so overwhelming for us mere mortals for our minuscule brains it was overwhelming you know and we were afraid so it's and god knows how we work better than we do and sometimes the smaller things is what we need and more often than not it is the smaller things that we need majority of the time so you know that was Part of the point of why Jesus himself went and saw St. Mar Margaret Mary, she was willing to listen, she had been, you know, there's been a lot of small things going on, and she, you know, and he finally got through. He did finally get through. So... But this was also there's a little thing that this was God wanted France to be dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus by a certain time the king didn't do it and then I guess that was the French Revolution because they didn't do it on t at least not on time I think they eventually did do it because I know Russia they were doing the exact same thing it was France the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Blessed Virgin Mary wanted Russia dedicated to her Immaculate Heart at Fatima and we got that whole thing again and so it's like you know when they tell you to do something let's do it but you know we're Fallen human beings were idiots, and we don't always listen. <laughs> so, you know, it's 
it's a work in progress on our end for sure, but some of us can do it. Some of us have been able to do it, and if some of us can wait, a lot more of us can. So, yeah, anyways, I figure that was more of a rambling than a review, so to speak. The book itself, the St. Margaret Mary, is a very good read, you know, especially if you, in particular, have a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I would definitely check this book out. It's... You know, it covers, of course, her story and the social... Well, basically what was happening in society at that time. Yeah, which I think was the event that was leading up to the French Revolution. Um, I mean, it sounds like it would be... Trying to see if I can find a year. Oh, of course, it'd be best if I looked in the beginning. You might let me know. Yeah, 1660 apparently is when this book starts. And St. Mary Mary, the. I am so sorry. St. Margaret Mary Aliquay was born in 1647 and passed away in 1690. So, yeah, about. Yeah, this was much, it just was def yeah, this was before the Revolutionary War. So this was way before the French Revolution. So yeah, this, this there's you know, you know things that can happen when you don't do what you're told. There are consequences. Unfortunately it takes us forever to find that out, and once we do, we end up turning around, forgetting that happened. And, and repeat in history. We are very notorious for that, to say the least. So, but yes, definitely check this out. This is one of the thicker books. So, oh my goodness. According to 40 chapters, and 223 pages. So, yes, this is one of the thicker books. Uh, this might need a little bit more time for an, an older or, or read it well basically the you know to read any age but it's still even though it's a longer still understandable for younger children you just need to take a little bit more time in it. but it, it's a pretty good book definitely worth looking into and you know kind of gain a little insight to what Jesus himself would like for us to do. Hopefully. Because there's some people who still read the Bible and can't seem to figure it out still. But yes. <laughs> this might hopefully give you a little bit more insight into the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Anyways. So, thanks for coming by. If this isn't up your alley, I hope you do find a one that is. If not, and you're not sure about it, please at least just give it a try. You never know if you might like it. And if you do, wonderful. If not, there's another one out there. So thanks for coming by. Uh, have, hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, and God bless. Mm -hmm.